Carl Palmer reading for Gloucester, six foot one. I thought the king hath more affected the Duke of Albany than Cornwall. It did always seem so to us, but now in the division of the kingdom, it appears not which of the dukes he values most, for equalities are so weighed that curiosity in neither can make a choice of either's moiety. Is not this your son, my lord? His breeding, sir, hath been at my charge. I have so often blushed to acknowledge him that now I am brazed to it. I cannot conceive you. Sir, this young fellow's mother could. Whereupon she grew wound wound, and had indeed, sir, a son for her cradle ere she had a husband for her bed. Do you smell a fault? I cannot wish the fault undone, the issue being so proper. But I have, sir, a son by order of law, some year elder than this, who yet is no dearer in my account. Though this knave came something saucily into the world before he was sent for, yet was his mother fair. There was good sport at his making. And this horson must be acknowledged. Do you know this noble gentleman, Ed? No, my lord. My lord of Kent. Remember him hereafter as my honorable friend. My services to your lordship. I must love you and sue to know you better. Sir, I shall study deserving. He hath been out nine years, and away he shall again. Oh, the king is coming. Oh, my good lord, I have been your tenant and your father's tenant these fourscore years. Away. Get thee away. Good friend, be gone. Thy comforts can do me no good at all. Thee, they may hurt. Alack, sir, you cannot see your way. I have no way, and therefore want no eyes. I stumbled when I saw, full oft is seen, our means secure us, and our mere defects prove our commodities. Oh, dear son Edgar, the food of thine abused father's wrath. Might have but lived to see thee in my touch, I'd say I had eyes again. How now, who's there? Tis poor man Tom. Fellow, where ghost? Is it a beggar man? Madman and a beggar too. He has some reason, else he could not beg. In the last night's storm I such a fellow saw, which made me think a man a worm. My son then came then into my mind, and yet my mind was then scarce friends with him. I have heard more since. As flies to wanton boys are we to the gods. They kill us for their sport. How should this be? Bless thee, master. Is that the naked fellow? Aye, my lord. Then prithee be gone. If, if, if for my sake thou wilt overtake us, hence a mile or twain in the way toward Dover, do it for ancient love, and, and bring some covering for this naked soul who I'll entreat to lead me. Alack, sir, he is mad. Tis a time's plague when madmen lead the blind. Do as I bid thee, or rather do thy pleasure. Above the rest, be gone! I'll bring him the best peril I have. Come on at what will. Sirrah, naked fellow. Poor Tom's a cold. I cannot daub it further. Come hither, fellow. And yet I must, lest thy sweet eyes they bleed. Does thou know the way to Dover? What style and gait, horseway and footpath? Poor Tom hath been scared out of his good wits. Bless thee, good man's son, from the foul fiend. Here, take this purse. Thou whom the heaven's plagues have humbled to all strokes, that I am wretched makes thee the happier. Heavens, deal so still. Let the superfluous and, and lust-dieted man that slaves your ordinance, that will not see because he doth not feel Feel your power quickly. So distribution should undo excess, and each man have enough. Does thou know Dover? Aye, master. There is a cliff whose high and bending head looks fearfully in the confined deep. Bring me but to the very brim of it. And I'll repair the memory, that, the misery thou dost bear with something rich from about me. From that place, I shall no leading knee. Give me thy arm. Poor Tom shall lead thee. 
can't banish thus? And France in color parted? And a king gone tonight? Subscribed his power? Confined to exhibition and all upon the gad? Edmund, how now? What, 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 what news? Uh, so please, your lordship, now. Why so earnestly seek you to put up that letter? I know no news, my lord. What paper were you reading? Nothing, my lord. No? What needed then that terrible dispatch of it into your pocket? The quality of nothing hath not such need to hide itself. Let's say, come, come, if it be nothing, I shall not need spectacles. I beseech you, sir, pardon me. It is a letter from my brother that I have not all or read, and for so much as I have perused, I find it not fit for your overlooking. Give me the letter, sir. I shall offend either to detain or give it. The contents, as in part I understand them, are to blame. Let's see, let's see. I hope for my brother's justification he wrote this but as an essay or taste of my virtue. This policy and reverence of age makes the world bitter to the best of our times, keeps our fortunes from us till our oldness cannot relish them. I begin to find an idle and fond bondage in the oppression of aged tyranny, who sways not as it hath power, but as it is suffered. Come to me that I of this I may speak more. If our father would sleep till I waked him, you should have half his revenue forever and live the beloved of your brother, Edgar. Conspiracy! Sleep till I waked him? You should enjoy half his revenue? My, my son, Edgar? Had he a hand to write this? A heart and brain to breed it in? When, when came this to you? Who brought it? It was not brought me, my lord. There's cunning of it. I found it thrown at a casement of my closet. You, you, you know the character to be your brother's. If the matter were good, my lord, I just swear it was his. But in respect of that, I would fain think it were not. It is his. It is his hand, my lord, but I hope his heart is not in the contents. Hath he never heretofore sounded you in this business? Uh, never, my lord, but I have heard him oft maintain it to be fit that sons at a perfect age and fathers declining, the fathers should be as ward to the sons, and the sons manage his revenue. Oh. Villain! Villain! His very opinion in the letter! A poor and villain! Unnatural! Detested! Brutish! Villain! Worse than brutish! Go, Sarah! Seek him! I'll apprehend him! Abominable villain! Where is he? 